I'm Erin O'Leary with Around the World, and today I would like to take you with me to the Landesamt für Einwanderung, formerly known as the Ausnahmehörde, or in English, the Foreign Office. This is the place where everybody has to go in order to get their visa in, to stay long term here in Germany. I'm actually going there for my permanent residency here in Berlin. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below, and whatever you do, please stay tuned until the end of this video, just so you can find out whether or not I actually am successful at getting my permanent residency or not. As you probably can't tell by this video, I'm extremely nervous. I have never been rejected before for my visa appointment, but the last time I was there in October, that was the first time they told me that I would have to come back in January to get a new visa because I forgot one single document. So yeah, let's see if this time it goes a little bit better, hopefully. I have no idea what to expect, but I am a little bit more prepared than last time. Okay, just picked up a chai tea latte from my favorite little bakery around the corner from my house. Um, so yeah, let's see. Cheers to a good day. I sure hope so anyway. <laughs> This is really exciting. I'm just walking a good 15 minutes to the immigration office and uh, it's cold outside. It's like one degree and it was snowing, but now it's not. So yip de doo That's normally how it goes in Berlin. Uh, yeah, I can't remember the last time that we had snow that lasted more than a couple of days and I've lived here for six years now. So anyway, I just looked at the clock and I am a good like 40 minutes early for my appointment. Uh, they're only letting people in last I was here 15 minutes before your actual appointment time. So I, it looks like I'm going to have to wait outside in the freezing cold for a really long time today um, until I can get inside, but that's okay. I'd rather be too early than rushing at the last minute to try and get my visa. <laughs> sun is shining. I wish that meant that I had some good news for you, but for the second time in my life, I have now been rejected from the Ausländer Behörde for my Niederlassungserlaubnis, uh, my permanent residency. So yeah, I tried. Uh, this time the woman was very, very unkind. Uh, she started yelling at me in the middle of my appointment. In all honesty, I am way too pissed about the situation to talk about it right now. Uh, please stay tuned until I get back to my house because I will give you a more 
detailed update about what actually took place at the Outsalan of Ejora behind closed doors. think about it. It's been a very, very long day. And basically what happened to me today is something that I've heard about from many other people who've come here to Germany and tried to get their visas at the Austin of Ehuda. However, it has never happened to me quite like this before. Uh, I actually saw this woman, woman like a few years ago. She gave me my last visa. That's how I had her contact information. Um, but when I walked into the room today, she had honestly no idea what to do with my case. She asked me for several copies of things that I needed to give her and I left the room and when I came back she told me, uh, actually she didn't even call my number. Uh, my number flashed up on the screen and I was confused because I had already been waiting for 20, almost 25 minutes and I knew that each appointment couldn't be longer than 30 minutes. Um, so I didn't understand why it was taking so long so when I saw my number I kind of walked back to the door and I knocked on it anyway and I opened the door and she said, okay, well you can come in. So I sat down and she goes, well, I'm sorry, I can't help you out today. And I asked her why and she responded to me that I needed to make more money. And I said, well, I don't understand how that's the problem. Can you please tell me exactly how much I should have been making? Now, in hindsight, I realized that it had nothing to do with how much money I paid in into my retirement fund because it's actually by the amount of months that you've been paying into it. So for example, I should have paid a total of 48 months um, towards my retirement fund and I paid 50 months worth of retirement money. Um, but she was calculating something and she said that I didn't pay enough. So I, and that I was just 100 euros shy. So I tried to tell her, look, I have proof that I'm making more money this year, that I will be putting more money into that account. Um, I'm still fully employed, like, can I show you? And she said, no, I don't want to look at it. The next thing she said to me was, You're, um, do you have a completed degree? And I told her, I'm currently studying here in Germany. I gave you the information for that. She goes, well, I can't do anything about that. First of all, we don't even deal with students. They deal with that in another building. Um, but if you don't have a finished degree, then I can't help you. And I said, well, I don't need a finished degree. Like, I don't, I don't need a finished degree. I should get it anyway. And she wasn't very happy with that. So she was getting very, very upset with me. And she's like, I told you you're not getting it. I told you you're not getting it. I told you you're not getting it. And I was like, yes, you keep telling me the information, but I need a solution. Like, I want to know exactly how much money I need to have. And I need to know like exactly what it is you need from me. I obviously have a degree from another studies. Like this is not my first bachelor's degree. Then she suddenly starts yelling at me and she's like, the time is running out, the time is running out, you need to leave. And I was like so stressed out because she was yelling at me. And I was like, could you calm down? Like, I just feel like you're very excited. Um. Yeah, this is not what you should do in Germany. You should not talk back to the person who's about to give you your visa. But I wasn't really in the mood to be messing around. So I did. Um, and she called in for backup. So another guy comes into the room and he starts to become the mediator between the two of us because I'm trying really, really hard not to get overly excited talking to this woman and start cursing her out or something. And um, I'm trying really hard to remain calm and meanwhile, she's getting more and more upset with me. Anyway, this guy comes in and he starts to mediate between us. And he tells me all the same information that she told me. He, yeah, he took her side, of course, and neither of them were going to go ahead and double check my information because they were running out of time. Now, the thing is, is that they wouldn't have been running out of time if she called me in five minutes after she realized that I wasn't going to be getting the document that I wanted that day. Um, but instead she actually let me just sit in the waiting room for 20-25 minutes until the clock was almost running out 
and then called me. Actually, she didn't even call me. I went back there and knocked on the door, and then she started to get upset with me because she had another appointment. Um, this is called someone screwing me over. Hardcore. I did get something called a fiction um, which basically just allows me to continue doing what I'm doing here for the next six months. She said I could come back in April, but she refused to give me another appointment. They just told me to get out of the office and go find another appointment. Well, if there's something you should know, finding an appointment at the Alta Nevada is not an easy task. That's why I went directly to somebody's email the last time I wanted that appointment that I have now waited like over half a year for. So anyway, I tried to make a new appointment. I've had no luck so far. At this point, I'm so pissed off at the letdown of today that I don't really know what I'm going to do. So anyway, if you liked my video, please be sure to hit that like button below. And if you want to see what happens next time that Aaron visits the Landesamt für Einwanderung, then be sure to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time somewhere around the world.